Night, Detective. You too. When the road all night, when the road all day, I bet my money on a bump till next. Somebody bet on the bay. That was by Stephen Foster, the father of American music. You know, in the 19th century, he was a rock star, the rock star. Everybody sang his songs. And the minstrel shows, they sang it in blackface. Of course, we can't do that today. And he died when he was 37, with three cents in his wallet. Anyway, Haley. You play piano? I used to as a kid. Okay, come join me. Again. 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 I can't stay here. I can't, I can't do this. I can't live like this. How can anybody live like this with these fucking cameras on you all day? <laughs> Haley, what have you done? Do you know what he's gonna do to you? I've gotta get out of here. No, Haley, no, listen. The only reason I have lasted this long is because I connect with him. I talk to him. He fucks you. It's not what you think. You let him fuck you. What is wrong with you? You like it. You watch your mouth. You're just as fucked up as he is.
Jennifer? Jennifer? Where's Haley? <clears throat> I asked you a question. Um, Haley is, uh, right here. <clears throat> Sorry, I was reading and I lost track of time. Clean yourself up. You look a mess. So Pygmalion was a brilliant sculptor who lived in ancient Greece. He loved his work. And he would spend hours carving beautiful ivory statues. He had no time for women. He would always say, only his sculptures. Now, there was a deeper reason for his aversion to women. You see, in that area of Cyprus, the women had failed to pay homage to Aphrodite, the goddess of love. And of course, this could not go unpunished, so Aphrodite cursed the women to a loveless life of prostitution. Now, one day, he selected this big, beautiful piece of ivory, and he sketched out a figure, and he started hammering and chiseling away until he was finished. It was a statue of a woman so exquisitely carved that she seemed almost alive. And he instantly fell in love with this creation. And he clothed it. He gave it jewels. And he named it Galatea, which means sleeping love. So he treated it like it was his girlfriend. And he brought it shells and pebbles and little birds, flowers of all colors. Anything that he thought would please his love. And the more that he gazed upon Galatea, the more he yearned for a wife of his own, but alive. He dreamed that she were flesh and blood, responsive to his words and touch. And then one day Aphrodite granted his wish. Every man's dream to build the perfect woman. That's absolutely right.
So who destroyed the camera? What camera? Who destroyed it?